G'day. This part in this video has been the subject of other videos but I think this code that I've come up with this time is by far the best that I've done uh, and I'm going to show you each of the iterations to arrive at this particular iteration which is some I don't know about 15 to 20 seconds quicker um, in a two minute part it makes a heck of a difference so this is the way I used to do them this is just doing the drilling and turning grooving at one end then part it off put it in the other lathe taper bore it for the quarter NPT taper tap and I used to do that quite happily and both lathes are working at the same time so I got the job done reasonably quickly here you can see the taper bore being created but it was messy and people used to suggest why don't you do it in one lathe and whatever um, but I mean the way I used to do it was fairly quick but that lathe has been misbehaving the one I used first so I've had to do it all in this lathe so there's a list of the tools that I'm using um, doing it the other way around so that I can do the tapping now I used to do it this way and the noise is just horrendous the looseness in the turret uh, the hex uh, the banging around was just horrendous um, the last time I did this uh, I just wasn't happy with the noise that it was making so this is from a previous run of the parts but I actually decided I had to do something else with a turning tool to try and knock the tops off the hex or something um, so this is what I did first this is just going in down as far as it can to remove the hex basically and that's not so noisy it works better gets the job done but I still ended up with grooving canton cycles to create the shape and much as I'm a fan of grooving tools they're really not the most efficient way to remove material they're not a turning tool let's face it this is actually a profiling insert in this parting tool at this point in time so it is meant for cutting sideways but it's not a turning tool let's face it so with the next iteration this one I decided to remove as much material as absolutely possible including to doing a small amount of the profile so it was finished that's this bit there right there that's down to size done and this is taking as much as the material away as I possibly can leaving only profiling for the parting tool and it goes into that corner it doesn't even need to do the side because I've already done that with the turning tool so I was quite pleased with the way this turned out and it was just so much quicker on a two minute job it lost about 15 to 20 seconds um, yeah so here we're going right through making a complete part here's the drill drilling it's only 0.08 per rev feed should be more um, lathe doesn't have the power to push that drill through at the speed it should should be about 1.2 or something or 0 0.12 but 0.08 is as good as it can do so that's what we've got there's a little boring bar just making the tapered bore for the tap to tap into rather than using 11.1 .1 drill or whatever it's supposed to be I like to just tap a tapered uh, create a tapered bore just the tapping out of the way now we start the turning that's the FC insert from Sumitomo that I use so much and now you can see we're plunging in getting 
that's down to 16.2 that finished diameter is only 16 so there's nothing there for the grooving tool to remove and I did start doing that actual profile that I did with the turning tool in two cuts but I found I was able to get away with it just using two and not feeding too hard and it still got the job done fairly promptly so yeah I was quite pleased with that and that's a look at the finished part thank you for watching